Let's uh, speak now live to our GB News reporter, Ellie Costello, uh, at Westminster, who's been speaking to the uh, Farmers' Union. And, of course, that the warning coming in the run-up to Christmas where everyone's wanting all that fresh produce. Yes, absolutely, Mark. It could not be worse possible timing for these warnings that the UK is sleepwalking into a food supply crisis. That's the warning from the National Farmers Union. They've just held an emergency press conference here in Westminster, and I'm pleased to say I'm joined now by their president, Manit uh, Batters, who joins me now. And you warned just now, Manit, that farmers and growers, they are facing an emergency situation. What do you mean by that? Well, many people will be aware of the situation with retailers rationing eggs. So it's, it's been, I think, a very, very challenging time, not just for egg producers, but those in fresh produce as well. We wasted, in the first part of this year, the first six months, we wasted £60 million of fruit and veg that went unpicked. So, you know, we've really got to take food security seriously. We've got nearly 70 million people in this country, and, and we want to make sure they have access to high-quality British food at all times. So we've seen a shortage of eggs. You've just remarked on that. What are your fears about what could come next? What could we see a shortage of in the shops? So all our surveying, particularly uh, across the area of fresh produce, that's, um, that's a very big sector in itself. That's apples, pears, but crops that are grown under cover, tomatoes, cucumbers, aubergines, peppers, all of those sectors are contracting, primarily because of the price of gas. If we look at the price of gas now to where it was, it's 650 per cent higher than where it was in 2019. So that, of course, is driving big issues for the horticultural sector, for egg production, poultry meat, the pig sector as well. No sector is immune from these costs, but it's, it's a very challenging time right now. We want to avoid further food shortages. Yes, especially in the run-up to Christmas. What support do you want to see from the government now? Well, we've called for an emergency uh, investigation, if you like, by government into the egg sector. We believe these are exceptional market circumstances. We want them to use the powers that they have within the Agricultural Act. Um, so we'll look forward to seeing the results of that investigation. But really, it's about fairness. It's about fairness for everybody in the, that supply chain, everybody taking a share of the pain, the retailer, the packer. You, we cannot leave it all on the primary producer who is, who is at the moment coping with all of these costs. If we can keep production up, it will stop further food inflation for consumers, and that's really, really important. Of course, Minette Batters, really good to speak to you. That is the president of the National Farmers Union giving us that stark warning that the UK could be sleepwalking into a food supply crisis. And you heard there, this may not just end with a shortage of eggs. We could be looking into 2023 with a shortage of vegetables and also concerns about food inflation as well, already at 14.6%. And consumers at home watching and listening will be thinking, well, if there's going to be a decrease of supply, could we see inflation continue to increase? And that will be a big worry for people who are already struggling with the cost of living crisis, Mark. Indeed, and, and the damage to the economy as well. Uh, 